In today's video, we're going to have a look at a swing trade that I did last week that banked me over 40%. We're also going to have a look at the indices and how the week is performed and what is coming up this week, such as the big earnings coming from Tesla. We're also going to look at how ridiculous the world is right now and the chaos that is going on and why I believe the world that we're living in right now is just absolutely fu What's the crack, everyone? Welcome back to Buy Wholesale. Hope, of course, you are all well. Yes, I have finally joined the YouTubers and got myself a microphone stand. Um, I never really understood the, the point of them, thought they were quite ridiculous and why I still do. I actually understand why they use them. It's it's so the microphone's closer to your mouth. I know that seems silly, but I just thought it was like a, a thing. But no, it's actually the microphone doesn't perform very well if it's further away. So I'm learning as I go, guys. I'm learning as I go and, and your hands can be free and... It's just, it's just unreal. But your eyes probably more focused on what's behind me. What is behind me is the one week performance on the SMP. We had another green week. About four weeks ago, we said we'd have, you know, probably a couple of, of red weeks till we hit the 200 day moving average and we bounced, we bounced. And then, you know, the war broke out last week. I just said like, all bets are off. With the markets actually being green, I think is quite resilient of the markets. It just shows you that um, maybe the conflict, because not to, to talk about the war, I don't want to talk about the war, but for those, and I'm not an expert either, but the conflict that is happening um, over in Israel, it's a conflict that's been going on for, for generations. There's been many ceasefires, there's been many peace deals done over every decade nearly, it's, it would seem. So it's not something that's new in terms of, oh, where's these tensions come from? Shocking, Terrible. You got to ask the questions where the money's coming from. Each one of these rockets is worth like 50 grand. And if you've seen the dome where the attack rockets are coming in and then the um, defense rockets are meeting the midway and blowing up, it's, it's truly um, spectacular, but it's just so inhumane. Where's all that money coming from? That's that's what I've got to ask. We've seen European countries, we've seen America obviously going to the defense of Israel. And not to get into the whole what side you're on or whatever, I try to stay out of it. It's just, you know, I've got enough enough issues in my own country in terms of politics without uh, concerning myself out there. But in terms of the markets, it's held up pretty well. We have seen a bit of a jump, a slight jump in oil. Um, on the back of it, which would make sense. And we have also seen the likes of gold, which is going to bring me to my first swing trade last week. Um, for those who know, I have been set up finally Webull um, in the UK. Unbelievable. You're getting like 10 free shares. A couple of people in the Discord joined um, and used that. Um, it's it's unbelievable. I'm going to share the link down below. Webull is now in the UK. You can do after hours, pre-market, options trading. You name it, it's got it. Fees wise, so far from sort of only using it really over the last week or so, I'd say probably the spread and all that is similar to trading two one two. But for the first ninety days, they're actually doing no fee, so it's it's really really good value. It definitely is worth opening up an account with the link below, get your free shares, and and try to use that and trade. Don't go you know heavily in um, any of the trades in terms of options if you don't know what you're doing. Be careful. Um, with what you're doing there and obviously you know on this channel we only trade with, with paper money anyway so i wouldn't worry about it too much um but this is a trade here based on the trading strategy anyone that's in the trading course this is one that perhaps you should have been on we briefly talked about at the start of the week about a um about commodities and the likes of you know these sort of precious metals and stuff gold silver probably jumping I didn't buy here though, I waited for a bit more confirmation, but really on the back of this news, I opted for gold. And the reason I opted for gold is I actually have a gold long hold position in my Invest Engine account from about two years ago, a long gold position, which is currently up about 7%. That's right. Uh, so not great, but it's it's not on leverage, it's just an ETF tracker, like so it's not, it's not massive. But this is um, one that I thought, right, you can rate the, the, the war situation, gold, safe haven, it was massively beaten down. It was due a jump. I just fancied um, this could be a trade. So I had actually set this up a while ago. First buy symbol came on. I've showed you how to do it in other videos. The alert came to my phone. Buy. I just thought, throw caution to the wind. Mostly because of this uh, MACD, the RSI, massively oversold here, as you can see. And I just thought, yeah, look, with, with the stuff that's going on, um, if you strip this actually down to the 4R, um, it looks really, really strong. And that's more what I was looking at on the smaller candles and went, yeah, look, we got above this. I went, right, I'm in. Um, and I didn't get um, the full 5%. I got closer to 4 because it's just over 40%. 10 times leverage. Nice trade. Where am I going to do? Well, what I did is I sold half. Sold half because this 200-day moving average will probably be resistance. But I'm liking where it is. And you can see here the news that's coming out. Safe haven buying as Treasury yields up. You look at the S&P. Yes, it was up on the week. And you can see here 
about 0.9 on the week. We were saying it would just fall down now um, and it would just go right down and bounce off this level and bounce. And that is exactly what's happened. Technical analysis here has very much paid off. And you can learn all of this, by the way, with the trading course. Just so you know, now the trading course is even cheaper. It is the cheapest price that it's ever been because I would reason previously was always charging VAT thinking I had to. Now, um, because of technicality, I don't. So you're actually getting 20% off. I was never getting that anyway. So now the trading course is 20% off. And if you use this code right here, BHS10, you will get an extra 10% off the price. Take advantage of it. Learn all of this. And like I said, you could be picking up 40% in gold very easily if you learn how to set up all these types of trades. Alert comes on your phone. You just buy and you go. Again, with the, the whole situation with the, the war, it is a massive curveball, but I don't see any reason why this won't stop unless earnings comes out and it's brutal. But one of the big boys in Tesla reporting here, some of the biggest, most prominent companies will release earnings. Tesla, Netflix, J&J, &J, Bank of America, Saks, Morgan Stanley, AT&T, all reporting this week. Huge market caps. And just to flip it back here, the Magnificent Seven, almost 30% of the S&P 500 market cap. 500 companies with seven owning 30% of the weight. 500 with seven of those companies. 30% of the weight. That is incredible. And you can see here, we're roughly here to about 20%. We're back up to 30%. That, to me, just shows you everything you need to know about this market. We were talking about it before. Two years ago, when we are talking about, for me, the market crash will be um, identified when Apple sinks like a stone. The big boys sink like a stone. That's not happened yet. I still fully predict, and anyone says, oh, um, a stop, what is it? Someone commented, a stopped, a broken clock is always right once a day. I get that whatever i'm trying my best to navigate through this there's so much factors to come into play and i'm not trying to be bearish i genuinely i'm looking at the charts going right where where are we going i fully expect there to be a depression it's just in my opinion it's coming i'm preparing for it every single friggin' day if you don't want to that is fine i might be being too bearish right now in this scenario that is fine I'm still in the market, always going to be in the market, swing trading, picking up money. I've got long holds. I've got it all, but I'm not being foolish. I think there's a big crash coming and I'm prepared for that. And this is the type of thing that makes me go, yeah, this goes down. We're all going down. Imagine those seven stocks start really pounding hard. 30% of the weight. <whistles> Game over. So Tuesday's got more of the bigger um, players um, starting to report. But the all eyes will be on Tesla on Wednesday. Um, massive bull on Tesla. Keen to see how they're doing. Netflix are getting it a bit tight at the moment. Um, I'm sure a lot of people will be watching for that as well. I think if they don't do a massive beat, they're probably going to sell off quite hard because there is a lot of rumblings that they um, have started losing market share. But in terms of significant retail news or market updates, um, nothing really from the Fed. We do have a retail sales coming out on Tuesday and a housing market update. I suppose if anything massively bad comes from that, you know, that will affect market. I think the markets could be quite strong next week, and that is where I'm holding my hat. But you can see things like this from writers. Ripple effect seen on markets globally from Middle East conflict. That could easily continue on. And next week, I'm actually going to on a cruise. Me and my uh, kids, the wife, uh, my brother, we're, I'm, I'm turning 35 years uh, young. Uh, next week, um, on the 18th, my brother's on the 20th, he's turning 30. We're going away for a big sort of family do. Um, my, my mother's coming, her retirement, we're just all, all in one big thing. So I'm going away for a week or so. Next week, unfortunately, the week ahead video will not be happening. I won't be back in time. And that just brings me to Deal Hunters. We have finally launched, as of today, we have launched our wholesale course. You're going to get a list of 200 wholesalers, a step-by-step -step guide of how to completely do an Amazon business from start to finish, including getting um, negotiating tactics, setting up a brands, creating websites, the whole lot. And we also have exclusive videos with all the partners. These are the biggest players in the Amazon game. This course is about nine months in the making. A lot of effort, a lot of people helped with this course. Thank you to uh, Dermot, James, Michelle, Michael, and Tony. We took these people on from different experiences, backgrounds, and tried to bring them all to wholesale. Finally finished recording the majority of that anyway, which means I will be able to do a lot more content for this channel, which is something that I'm very passionate about. Something that I'm also passionate about is Manchester United. This is stock related because the share price is going to take one hell of a gaping, most likely, because the Qataris have pulled out from the process to buy the club. 
United are probably doomed unless some sort of um, package is announced. There's talk of a 25% takeover. But for me, this is a big blow. And I think United, if they continue down this road, really could be in very, very difficult times in 10 to 15 years. It is drying up. The well is drying up. Looking at the Nasdaq then, it was up 0.6 of a percent. So across the indices last week was a good week for them. I do suspect that this will continue on. In terms of swing trades for the week ahead, well, there won't really be too much that I can do because on the cruise liners, you do not get much internet. It is shockingly bad. Um, and I'm speaking from experience there, so I really have no hope that I'm going to be able to do much trading. And I don't really fancy trying to open trades up with not knowing that I can close them. Probably going to close out the gold trade. I'm going to wait and see what way it goes. I've closed out half. Um, it might bounce off that 200 is what I'm thinking. I might set a tight stop loss. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do there. Um, I'm keen to look at Tesla and I'm keen to try and open trades if possible because now I have the, the after hours pre-market situation going on. But again, I'm way to enjoy my holiday. I don't think I'm probably going to do too much trading. But I'll keep you informed in the Discord, as always, with plenty of stuff happening. We'll just have a quick look at uh, our long holes in terms of Premier African Minnows Dream. Up on the week, 1.71%. On the month, we are up nearly 11%. And we'll just not talk about the last six months. We know where this is going. I'm really, really confident um, that we're going to be seeing these types of levels very, very soon. We should see... We should see the stock pump well over hundred uh, percent. Golden opportunity here. Production looking good. I think we're going to all. I think it's all going to come together in November. We did our first live stream this week. We got like five hundred views on it or something. Really, really happy with that. I've got like ten people watching live. It was a surreal experience. I can't explain it. Um, just watching live, going, Christ, anything can happen here. <laughs> I really felt like that. It was good. Stuck the toe in the water. Once I get back from my cruise, you're going to see a lot more live content. For those that don't know, clickbait videos do the best. The thumbnails, the, the fear, it seems to do really well. I thought, well, look, I'm going to have to keep doing the clickbait because there's no point in me doing videos when nobody's watching it. I need people to watch it. I've asked the guys what clickbait title. I was thinking maybe the wife left me. I thought, let's have a look. The meltdown has started. One hell of a gape from Gino there. We're going to Cape Town, buckle up. Going to put a lipstick on and make sure I look good before I get... Well, you know who the winner is because the title's here. Um, there's one or two there that I, I couldn't possibly put up anyway. But look, that is the video. Thanks, please like, subscribe, help me grow the channel. Consider the discount code. Again, here it is. Get the discount, join the course, learn to trade. It just pays for itself. And if it doesn't, money back guarantee. You have nothing to lose. See you next week. Peace.